Hey, what's up guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuccia here, and I'm a bit sweaty. I just rode my bike to the shop just because uh, my truck still ain't out of the shop yet and probably won't get it for a few days, so I had to do a test run to see how long it would take me to get to the shop. So, yeah, it was about 25, 30 minutes. Not bad, but uh, again, too, I also came because I needed to find out some things, and I hadn't really been able to do it this week, and I kind of lit the... Uh, I lit the flame, but I didn't follow through with it, and it was on the video on the braid spooling on the reel when it was super cold. So, <clears throat> I didn't sit by idly. It was just a lot of contemplating of what test I need to do to be able to prove it works. However, it, I guess it's a good thing that I kind of waited a little bit because one of our YouTube subscribers had told us how the braid is basically a moisture wicking item. So, because of that, you know, no matter how many wraps he says we put on there, it'll still slip in that kind of, you know, um, environment. So it got me to thinking, along with another YouTube subscriber who was talking about, you know, um, obviously metals shrink when they get cold and shrink even more when they're super cold. Um, however, I kept thinking about the light coat of ice that had developed on the reel, and it was from all the moisture. Now, I don't know if it develops within the reel while it's in the freezer, because when I, when I looked at it there, it looked like it didn't have any ice on it. But as soon as it hit the moisture out here, obviously it formed ice and it made it slip pretty much instantly. So with that in mind, I have an idea. And what it is is, obviously I don't like using tape and I don't like using mono. Yeah, gotta buy, gotta buy. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Because mono stretches You know, you get it And, you know, it'll sit there And it'll stretch And it'll still create That wave-like effect Of the braid on the reel And then two, tape Because moisture gets up under there And I've seen where it starts To corrode the reel From the inside out Now, one of the YouTube subscribers beat me to the punch by saying maybe I need to add a little adhesive to the spool. And that's exactly what I was thinking was maybe I can add some of this Gorilla Glue because once it dries, it's kind of rubbery, you know what I mean? And maybe that would be enough to be able to get the braid to grip the spool again because even when rubber gets cold, it's still got that rubbery sensation to it. So, of 12 wraps, or 10 to 12 wraps, but I'm gonna add a little bit of that Gorilla adhesive to the spool, letting it dry, and then adding on my knot on top of it. So let's see what happens, how it looks, and then I'll be throwing it into the freezer, give it about an hour, and then I'm gonna pull it out and repeat the process and see if that does work before I start doing my smaller reels. Because obviously, we do fish during the winter here, and granted, we haven't hit those extreme cold conditions, but I need to figure this out because I have a lot of my, you know, YouTube subscribers and my customers that fish way north and on the east coast and on the west coast and some are even going to Alaska and they need to be able to have this problem figured before they get up there because they're kind of in the same boat as me. They don't want tape and they don't want mono. So let's see. I'm, I'm real, I'm real um, excited on this test because I have a feeling it's going to work but you never know until you actually try it. So let's give it a shot. Okay, these were the two reels that I originally did the first test on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip them down. I'm going to redo the knots in front of you, show the glue, get it added on, and stuff like that. And I will keep going from there. So hold on just a second. All right, guys. So I have stripped them down. And this is where the original wraps and when they, where they were placed when I spooled them on there. And right here I've got two, four... Loosen this up a little bit. Got two, four, six, eight, ten wraps on this one. And this one I have two, four, six, eight, nine wraps on that. Well, hold on, hold on. Eight wraps on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase my wraps on one of these rails. I'll probably do this one just because it only has eight. And this one, I'm gonna leave the same amount of wraps on there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the epoxy, or the glue, that I wanna use, and see if it's gonna work the way I plan it to work. And what I'm talking about is the same Gorilla Glue that I use 
on my uh, closeout knots and stuff like that because it's it's flexible and all of that and it's rubbery so um, yeah I'm gonna try it out so let's see see what this does and obviously I'm gonna put this glue this adhesive on while it's at room temperature and I'm gonna let it dry before I um, continue on with the test See, and I got to do this by hand this way because if I start trying to spool it on, my knot will catch and it'll start trying to take on line. So, and I guess I'm going to go all the way around with it so that way it can, then what I want to do is I want to kind of smooth it out because obviously I don't want it all lumped up in that one spot. And let's see if this will work. Lightly touching it with my thumb and yes I did what I needed it to do see now it's kind of leveled out a little bit so I'm gonna let that dry and it says full cure 24 hours clamp object together for two hours hmm well, normally I wait about maybe 15-20 minutes <laughs> when I'm doing my knots and then I wipe off any excess off of it. So it looks like I may have to leave this for tomorrow just to ensure that it is properly adhered to the spool because I obviously does, don't want it to create any kind of gap between the spool and the adhesive. So that way when it does freeze again, because of me putting it in the freezer, it's not going to um, create a gap or allow the frost to um, get underneath it, which will make it not catch the way I want it to catch. So um, we'll do that. This one I'm going to go and increase the knot. And actually I'm thinking about doing the same thing to it because this is the generation three hollow core and this is Jerry Brown hollow core right here. So maybe I should, you know, I'm gonna, I actually, I want to because I'm already down to this, you know, level right here. I believe, I really do believe that this is gonna work. So let me go and add a few more wraps to this one. And then I'm gonna add the adhesive and actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it with the eight wraps there. Because looking at how the adhesive went side to side on there, it, it's almost as thick as my ten wraps here. So it'll be more than enough for that eight wraps there. So definitely. And the other thing is too with this, I know that with the Gorilla Glue, if there's too much piled up on one side, it'll tend to drip down. And it'll just stack up on one side. So... I'm gonna try and keep it level and spin it occasionally. And let me go and do the other reel. Yep, yeah, that's what I should have did the first time. Use the, uh, the tip of that, but. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. I'm going to let that dry and we'll see how it looks tomorrow, I guess. I'll give it a few hours, but normally a few hours here, it, it pretty much adheres pretty well. And we'll be back and check it out. All right, guys, so it's been a few hours and yeah, this is already hard right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and Put them in the basket so it's easy for me to carry and record at the same time. And I need this knife because my gimbal won't stay in this little deal. I had it broke and it's a little hard for me to get around right now without a vehicle. So, let's do this. And now, a freezer sitting at about 18. So, Yeah. 
Oh. There's the reel. Kind of hard to see with no light. And could have turned it on. But yep. So we give it an hour. See what happens. Give you a behind the scenes of what's been going on this week. That's our table of surf weights, regular weights, and it's just been going non-stop of surf weights and regular weights galore. It's crazy. Um, yep. All right, guys. So the reels are out of the freezer. Let's pull them up real quick because they'll still be pretty. Um, well, they, they won't be cold anymore because the spooling will heat up. But I have to throw them back in the freezer. I should have. I should have uh, tied the knot and all of that beforehand and spooled them up, but I didn't. So, but this is also kind of one of the recommendations that one of the subs was saying that uh, I should freeze the reel and then start to spool it up. Or, you know, freeze it, spool it, and then see if that would still do it. So, it kind of works too, but I'm thinking that I did this wrong. And the reason being because I should have, yes. Well, no. There's just too many, too many variables. So now that it's it's really, really, really cold, I'm gonna go ahead and spool it up, put it back in the freezer, so that way you can, uh, hopefully, we can test this theory. So I'm gonna have to go as quickly as I can so I won't be really stopping much, and I'm gonna do it in high gear, something that I normally don't do, um, but it's the only way to spool it up quick, correctly, or quickly. Just a heads up, this is tight. I mean, it is tight, so it ain't like, you know, it's just lightly spooled on there, so that gives you a heads up, you know what I mean? It may already be working, so. Right, let me go throw this in the freezer real quick, so that way we can chill it again. All right, guys, I forgot to hit record, but I just filled up the reel like I said you can still see the condensation on it but I'm running back and forth trying to get it you know caught just right so I'm gonna go throw this into the freezer give it an hour again and then we'll take them out and test them. All right guys so just pulled them out of the freezer again and let's see let's see if it holds hold on turn on the clicker drag is engaged There it goes. Drag the gate, turn on the clicker. And back it off a little bit. Yeah. Clicker is on. Let me I need to back it off a little more. There you go. And I mean look, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. So there you go guys. No tape. No mono, and oh, those things were cold. Ooh, that's cold. That is really cold, but it did work. So, wow, yeah. So I'm impressed. A little bit of Gorilla Glue, let it dry, and then start our braid to the uh, arbor knot, and it will hold even in extreme cold uh, conditions. Like I said, I had it in there for an hour, hour and a half the first time, spooled it, then put it in there for another hour and yeah they they're good to go i mean there's little pieces of ice all over this thing so yep yeah. so we already know when it warms up they'll hold so i ain't even got to show that part of the video but thanks again for watching and now you know a little bit of glue but it well this type of glue because it like i said it, it, it's kind of rubbery you know what i mean so once that knot cinches down it cinches down in that rubber so but i did let it dry as well Thank you.